We are a generation who loves God. We are a generation who trusts in God. We will always hope in God. I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus on this precious day. This is the day that the Lord has made. We shall rejoice and we shall be glad in it. Our God is good. He is gracious. He is merciful and He is with us. My dear friend, I want to speak to you today and I want to share the title of my message is Don't Be Discouraged When People Say All Sorts of Things Against You When People Treat You Badly When People Attack You When People Reject You Solely Because of Jesus And I'll explain even as we go on But for now, let us welcome the Holy Spirit together Wherever you are, lift up your hands with me Surrender to God and say this out loud. Say, Holy Spirit of God, I welcome you. Come, Lord Holy Spirit, and take over control. Help me to pray, help me to press in, and help me to receive from the Father today. I ask this in Jesus' name, and I thank you for it, Lord. Amen. Now, the Bible says in the Gospel of Matthew chapter 5, from verse 11, it says, Blessed are ye when men shall revile you, and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake now before I break this down I want to explain something many people out there when they face persecution when people revile them when people say all manner of evil against them falsely they become sad they feel like giving up. They start to wonder, what is wrong with me? Have things gone wrong? Have I made a mistake somewhere? Have I done something wrong? And ultimately, they become discouraged and they give up. But on the contrary, the Bible encourages us to rejoice. The Bible encourages us to rejoice because in such a situation when this happens it is an indication of the blessing that is waiting for us in a situation like this in the life of a born-again believer that is not a time to give up but that is a time and an opportunity for character to rise up I'll read the scripture and let's break it down bit by bit it says blessed are ye blessed are you when men shall revile you and persecute you and say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake. The key part of this statement is for my sake, for the sake of Christ. But it says, blessed are ye when men shall revile you or hate you or dislike you or treat you badly for nothing. It goes on and says, and persecute you which also falls into that category and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely so they bring false accusations against you even in such a situation you are blessed why are you blessed because everyone who came before you the saints the prophets who are genuine for Christ they all faced this this is one of the attacks that the enemy will use to try and pull you down, to try and discourage you. But it is up to you to rise up and say, I will not be discouraged by this. Because I believe in Jesus and Jesus is with me. And if I've got Jesus, then I've got everything I need. Don't be discouraged when this happens. Be exceedingly glad and let character rise up. In times when you feel sad and you feel like giving up, don't give up. Rather press on. Take what the Word of God says and put it into practice. That's the perfect time for you to take the Word of God and hold on to it. I tell you, people can come up against you, say all sorts of things and treat you badly. They can even plot and plan against you. But as long as you have put your trust in God, they will not succeed in those bad plans against you. You will be kept safe, you will be delivered, and God will see you through. All you need to do 
is trust in him. So I want to ask you today, my dear friend, do you trust in God? Do you trust him to deliver you? Do you trust him to see you through? Do you believe in him that even in such a situation he is with you? And even in such a situation as the word of God says, you are blessed and not cursed. If you do, rise up in faith. Let character arise and press on. Sooner or later, you will see as God turns the situation around in your favor because the grace of God is sufficient and God's power is made perfect in weakness. And even in that time when we feel weak and we feel like giving up, God needs us just to surrender to Him and allow His grace to make a way and His power will come forward and bring divine deliverance. He will deliver you. He will see you through and it shall be well with you. Now in saying that, let us go into a time of prayer. I want to pray with you and for you in line with this word that I've shared and I trust, I know, I believe God is going to bless you. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, we praise you and we thank you. We thank you for your goodness and your mercy that you've released upon our lives and we thank you that we are not helpless. You are with us, you are fighting for us, you are delivering us and you are seeing us through. Your grace is sufficient for us, for your power is made perfect in weakness. We give you praise and we thank you that even in situations when people revile us, persecute us, and say all sorts of evil against us falsely, even in those situations we are blessed and right now strength is arising within us so that we may press on and receive from you. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen and Amen. Hallelujah. My dear friend, I discern God's presence. Now, as I begin to pray for you, I want to encourage you wherever you are, comment down below in the comment section and agree with me. Connect in faith, believe and receive in the name of Jesus. But in saying that, let us begin. Father, I pray for my dear friend who's watching this video. Wherever my dear friend is, bless my dear friend mightily mightily, mightily. Take my dear friend to a greater glory and a greater level. Touch my dear friend's life and bless my dear friend. Wherever people are persecuting my dear friend, wherever people revile my dear friend and say all sorts of evil against my dear friend falsely, deliver my dear friend. And let my dear friend taste and see that you are with them. And that even in such a situation they are blessed. Father, turn the situation around in my dear friend's favor. And bless my dear friend mightily. My dear friend who is watching this video. Wherever my dear friend will watch this video. And whenever my dear friend will watch this. I ask this in Jesus name. And I thank you for it Lord. Amen. My dear friend you are blessed. You cannot be cursed. Remember, rejoice and be exceedingly glad. Rejoice, for great is your reward in heaven. And God is with you. He is protecting you and He will be with you. He will see you through. In Jesus' name, Amen and Amen. Thank you for watching. If you were blessed by this video and you would like to support us to keep making content like this, you can do so via PayPal or Patreon. The links are provided in the description. God bless you and goodbye.